Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design a register page by using Tailwind. I have designed a register page on Figma. I will put the link of these files in the description. Alright, the next step, open Google Chrome and search for v.js. We are going to use uh, v.js to set up Tailwind projects. Click on get start and then scroll down to the bottom. We have to use this command to create v projects. Copy it. Okay, press shift on keyboard and right click and then open PowerShell. Uh, paste the command over here, hit enter. Okay, it will ask you the project's name. I'm going to name it Sample Tailwind Register. You can name it whatever you want, okay? Hit enter. And then I'm going to choose vanilla and hit enter. Then I'm going to CD to get access to the folder. CD Tailwind Register. Okay, we are in the folder right now. The next command that we have to do is to run npm install and then npm run dev. So I'm going to open this folder with a Visual Studio code. Okay, then I type code dot. Okay, all right, yes, I trust. And then let's open new terminal. And uh, you can type this command npm install to download files. npm install. Then it will create uh, node modules over here for you. The next step you have to do is to run web application by typing npm run dev. npm run dev. Okay, we have set up this vs with vanilla js next we are going to tailwind css.com okay we are going to install tailwind in our project click on framework guides and then click on beat and then you have to copy this command and execute it in to your project okay let's go to your projects we have to stop uh, this one Control c and then y then paste the command over here after the installation is done, you have to copy this command and execute it in the project. Okay, paste it over here, hit enter. It will create two files. The first one is tailwindconfigs.cjs and the second one is postcssconfigs.cjs. So the next step you have to do, you have to add files directory in content in tailwindconfigs.js okay you go to tailwind configs over here so because html and main.js is in the main directory we can put it like this dot curry brace html comma js save okay the next step you need to add this one in the main CSS files, which is this file, styles.css. You can remove all uh, CSS from here because it comes with feed. Okay, paste it over here. Save. Okay, the next step, you have to include CSS in JavaScript files. So in main JavaScript, it already includes styles.css. You can remove uh, other JavaScript because it's come via feed. You just remove it and then you can remove uh, calter.js as well. And you can remove these files as well. And the next step, you have to run npm run dev again. Okay, let's run npm run dev. Let's open the browser again with this uh, URL. You will get nothing right now and then let's test if tailwind is installed successfully okay i will create div tag over here and then i put hello tailwind okay then i put class bg red 500 okay save okay you will see that we've installed tailwind successfully the next step we will start design a register page let's go to Figma and you will see when you take a look at over here you will see the background color of uh, the register page is purple over here okay you will see that we use uh, linear I use linear as a background color so this 
the background color start with this color and end with this color and is aligned in this angle. I will remove this one and let me remove this div as well. So I will use min height screen. So min height screen is a uh, min height 100 VH. I will put styles over here and then I will put background image. And I will use linear guardians. The degree I will use 115 degree. Let's take a look at the color. I will copy this color because it starts with this color. Then I paste it over here. And the second color is this color. I will copy this color and paste it over here. Save. Okay, let's take a look at our website. Okay, you have like a uh, background color right now. The next step we will start uh, using container. Okay, I will use container over here, div class container. And then make it center, mx auto. For example, if I type text over here, and then I put BG white, okay, save. And when I take a look at the website, you will see. And when you zoom out, you will see this box is at the center. Over here, I can use like PY40. So you will see padding Y40, padding top and bottom 40. You will see this box move down a little bit. Okay, the next step, I will remove this background color and I will create another div inside here, div. Okay, we put class over here. Uh, I will put the width of this box to be 10, 12, uh, 8, 12, I think. Okay, 8, 12. And then background color, BG, white, and rounded, XL. Let me put some text over here. Save. You will see, we get like rounded. So I need this one to be at the center. So I put MX Auto over here. MX auto and when you take a look at here you will see this box has shadow so we can put shadow over here shadow LG okay let's take a look it has shadow and I will determine overflow hidden okay I will create two div inside here okay the first div is the image and the second div is content uh, is include uh, input box over here okay we have two div over here so this div I will put image in it and this div I will put input box in it so let me put uh, something over here like h2 register and this one is welcome let's copy this and over here h1 welcome and let me put div over here and let me put p tag over here and let me copy the tags here okay and put this over here okay we get something like this you will see that uh, this welcome should be half of this box right so I can do it by put class and put width over here to be one half and this box should be one half as well class with one half you see it's cover only half of the box okay i want this one to sit side by side so i put flex in the palin div which is this div see i put flex over here you will see it sits side by side so i want background image in this box in the first box so i put styles over there over here i put style background image so URL and let me create a folder over here and name is images okay let me copy the image I have image on desktop okay let me put this over here so URL and then image register background image you will see the background image over here let's change this tag to be white okay let's put class white and this one class text white sorry this should be text white save okay it's look good uh, let's start with this div so this div should have padding so I'm going to use padding 
top and bottom to be 16 and padding X to be 12 padding X is left and right and then register tag should be bigger put like tags 3XL and then I'm going to put margin bottom 4 okay this look good uh, next we need this tag I, I will copy this tag and then create P tags over here put the tags over here then I put class over here MB should be 4 okay okay look good it look really similar see the next step I'm going to create a form for register form action is nothing then I create a div I should create this input and this input right so I create a div uh, I will create two input input type text so placeholder is first name okay we should get input box over here see so I will use class and then I will determine border and border color should be gray 400 and padding top and bottom should be 1 and padding left and right should be 2 I save and I will copy this input to create another input so surname all right see this is this look good but it's not sit side by side so I will determine this one to be class grid and then I use two column grid column two and I need gap to be five okay this look good see even when I zoom in it still sit side by side okay I'm going to create another div over here and class uh, margin top five and let me copy this one and put this over here and save it and for this one I'm going to use email see this is email I want this input box width to be full so I put width full over here with full save it it is full right now uh, next what we need we need password and confirm password so I just copy this div and paste this down over here okay change this one to be password and this should be password okay and this should be password and this is password uh, confirm password save okay this look good uh, the next step uh, I need to create this checkbox and this text so I'm going to copy this text and let me create a div over here so div class margin top 5 okay let me put input checks box over here okay input type checks box name I, I will remove this one and put class over here and then I just put border border gray 400 okay then let me create span and paste the text that I just copy for this one I view put a link for term of use and another link for privacy policy I put class over here let me put href over here hash this one too let me put class over here text should be purple 500 and font should be semi bold let me copy these classes and paste this over here as well because it looks similar okay let's take a look all right the next step we need to create a button over here register now so let me create div over here and then put class mt5 margin top 5 all right let me put button over here and then put register now Okay, put class over here we will style it so we need button to be full width this button is full width so we need background color to be purple 500 and padding Y should be 3 padding top and bottom and tag should be at center and then tag color should be white save see all right, this size look good, and we will uh, style this size. So I want welcome text to be bigger. 
So I go back to welcome tax and I put tax 3XL. It should be big right now. And I will put margin button to be 3. All right, let's take a look. It's look good right now. Uh, I need this tax to be at the center. So I put flex in the parent. So I put flex and then I put a flex column and then I put item center okay and put justify center as well save let's take a look okay this look good then I will put like padding 12 okay this look good so background should not repeat okay I will put like over here over here I will put BG no repeat and BG cover and BG center okay the position of background image all right this look good okay we will change this one to be purple here you see it's purple so we go to desk tags and then learn more over here we put a tag because it's a link so we put it over here and then put href hash and then class we put text purple 500 and then font semi bow save okay this look good as you see this is not responsive so we are going to make it responsive okay when is it small like this when is it mobile i want this one this box to be on top of register so i go to flex over here so if it's mobile i'm going to use fake column and if it's last screen i'm going to use it fake row okay let's save so save you see when it's small screen, I want this box to be full width. Over here, we see uh, th this box, like right? this is for large screen. So we put LG and for small, we put full width. Okay, this look good. And register box, we have to make it full width in mobile screen. This is register box, right? So for mobile screen, we want it full width. When small screen, when last screen, we want it one half. Okay, this is responsive like now. It looks so good. And then make inspect. And over here. Okay, let's see. See, this is for mobile. For mobile, I want this box to be bigger. Let's go back here. So with 12, like, so this is for last screen and for small screen. So because mobile first, so we put mobile with nothing. With should be 10, 12, save. Okay, see, this box is bigger right now. Okay, everything is responsive and it looks so good. This is all about this video. Feel free to click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment down below.